Yo, what's up guys? Blaz here. First off, I want to say thank you so much for all the support recently. It's been insane. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. This helps a ton. And if you want to see me play games live, I stream almost every single day over at twitch.tv slash But for now, let's get straight into the tutorial. So today's video is just going to be a couple of quick keybinds that I think you guys can incorporate into your gameplay to make you better and to help you win more fights. Now the first one we're going to be going through is scroll wheel interact. And the second one we're going to be going through is scroll wheel jump. Now, unfortunately, this is only doable on PC since we're using scroll wheel it may be doable on console depending on if console has mouse and keyboard support which i am not 100 sure but if it does then i guess this video does apply to you so first off why would you want to do scroll wheel interact this is what interacting looks like picking things up one by one no matter how fast you are there will always be some sort of a delay but with scroll wheel interact you pick up multiple items instantly now what this will help you do is win more fights off drop since you will be instantly picking up weapons and getting it before the enemy and it will also allow you to loot faster and clear your loot path quicker which can be very useful and ranked especially when there's another team nearby and to set this keybind up you're going to want to go into your settings scroll down the weapons and abilities find your interact slash pickup leave your key one the same and in your key two scroll your wheel up and it will set your keybind now that that's done i'm going to show you guys how to set up scroll wheel jump now reasons for using scroll wheel jump is that it allows you to b hop which makes you a much harder target to hit. And more importantly, it allows you to B-Hop heal, which can be very useful in a fight for when you need to back off quickly and get a heal off. B-Hop healing is much better than walking in a straight line, very slow in healing. Like, come on, look at that. You're gonna be such an easy target to hit. And for those of you who don't know how to B-Hop, all you have to do is slide jump. And then every time that you hit the ground, you spam your scroll wheel. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you real quick just like that. And every two or three jumps, you wanna slightly change your direction by holding either A or D. Now what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna hold W whatsoever, is that will mess up your momentum and you won't be able to continue on for as long. And to B-Hop heal, it's going to be the same thing, but before you start your slide jump, you hit your heal button just like this. Now it is the same thing, you do have to keep holding down A or D, otherwise your momentum will stop and you will come to a halt after about three or four jumps. And to set this key bind up, all we're going to do is go into our settings, find your movement keys, jump, leave your key one the same, and in key two, scroll your wheel down, and then it will bind it to that. So now you got both of those keybinds set up. Now it's time to start incorporating it into your gameplay. I promise you, you will see small improvements, especially fighting off drop if you'd like to hot drop or challenge enemies. Now you will be grabbing loot for them as this is instant and there's almost zero delay. And as for the scroll wheel jump, I also forgot to mention that the scroll wheel jump is also what you need to do for wall hopping. You slide hop, let go of all your buttons, and then you press scroll wheel down as soon as you hit the wall. Now it is very important that you let go of all your keys, otherwise this will happen. You basically just bounce off of it and do nothing, but when you let go, you get a big boost. And one thing I like to do with B hopping is if I know an enemy is low and I'm coming around a corner, instead of walking around a corner like this, what I do is I B hop around the corner. Just like that makes you a much harder target to hit and i'd say nine times out of ten they aren't expecting you to come out that fast i seriously do think that if you guys incorporate these two small keybinds in your gameplay it will help make you a better player overall now it won't help you become an apex predator overnight but once you do fully incorporate it in your gameplay and master it you will see yourself winning more gun fights with these being a harder target to hit and these are also two keybinds that a lot of pro players have not just in apex but in many other battle royale games scroll interact is very popular simply for the fact that there's no delay and you can pick up multiple items at once but if this video helped you guys remember please leave a like and subscribe as it helps me a ton i also have a ton more tutorials and montages coming out soon so make sure that you're subbed to see those whenever they come out but yeah that's it for me guys hope you all have a good day here are a few clips that i got recently hope you guys enjoy peace out oh you're cracked yeah Behind, behind. 
still one more somewhere. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Help me! I got you are the one. <laughs> one down, one down. Cossack one. 